Anyway, morning, September 2nd, 2020. Let's start. Uh, let's take a tour. We're going to Falls City, Nebraska. Falls City, Nebraska. I wish uh, our dear friend Bubak was around. He's from Nebraska. I didn't do any research. Uh, I did like, I did like two lines of research. I read the Wikipedia page, and that's all on the car ride here because Caitlin dropped me off since it's a late day, and that's all. The breakdown took away all my research time. But I do know that it's in the very corner of Nebraska. See. You guys see that? See Nebraska? And it's in the corner. Bam. All the way down there. Closer to Kansas City. I wonder, what was it in between? Omaha and Kansas City? I wonder if that was a, a cow town for, like, you know, Dodge City people. Anyway. The town name is Falls City, and I believe it's because there's a river that went through there. Looks like the big Nimaha River went through there, and there were some falls. Or, or it was forked in between two two parts of the big Nimaha River. And they said there was falls, but then they said the falls dried up because the river has changed so much. The Wikipedia is just terrible shit after terrible shit. Um, it was a stop on the Underground Railroad, which is actually like, you know, that's cool because uh, they were helping uh, helping people out. But the re- the fact that it exists sucks. Because uh, of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which is bloody Kansas, crazy shit, Brown, John Brown, lunatic. Some people say hero. Some people say lunatic. You'll have to read my thesis from junior year of college to find out my thoughts. I don't remember what I wrote. I think he was a lunatic. I think any any I think all activists are lunatics. I don't know if that's that's probably too blanketed of a statement. I probably shouldn't say that. I take it back. Strike that from the record. John Brown was a lunatic. But he sparked the Civil War, basically. So good for him. Enough of the history, Jimmy. People don't care. Anyway, uh, then the next tidbit on Wikipedia said, In the summer of 1966, Brainiff Airlines Flight 250 crashed near Falls City due to bad weather, killing... All 42 on board. I wonder if, see, like, that's a tough Google. 19, oh, getting a call from Old Greenwich, Connecticut. Not going to answer that. 1966 Falls City plane crash. Is this something we want to Google or not? Oh, okay. You guys heard of that town in, um, whoa. Whoa. There's a town in England or somewhere where um, that's crazy. Look at that picture. That's the plane crash and all the remnants, and they put up, like, tents. It's nuts. How big was the plane? Oh, that big? Okay. Well, this happened in Fall City. There's some crazy story about um, maybe I did this on Just Talking, which is actually on this feed. And that's something on the podcast app. If you scroll on the podcast app for morning, if you scroll all the way down, you'll get episodes of Just Talking, which was a show my fiance and I did together. It was just like, you know, family and friends listened and it was lighthearted and updates on our lives because we moved so much. And then we did some news stories and. I really like cognitive biases, so we did a lot of that. Arrival fallacy, um, oh, a lot of them are gone. <sighs> Never mind. Don't go look for them. They're all gone. Because we got to up our storage. Anyway, uh, there's some plane crash story in England where this plane crashed in a town, and one... I'm going to butcher it. It's really cool, and I'll think of it as butcher. It's like an American... And a, a British family made friends over this because either he survived in the town and they found him or it was the guy that died's brother in America came to see where he died and then met friends with the English and then they made some crazy story. But I forget it, so maybe I shouldn't have gone into it. Anyway, Falls City, Nebraska, let's go check out what they're all about. 
It looks like a pretty big town. Oh, the other, the other tidbit on Wikipedia is that the movie Boys Don't Cry, um, with um, Hillary Swank, is based on a true story that took place in Falls City, Nebraska, which is terrible. Uh, trans person got raped and beaten and they went to the sheriff and said, Hey, these two guys raped and beat me. And the sheriff said, we don't care basically. And then, then the two guys killed them and then they sued because they were like, you didn't protect them. Terrible story. Is this place close to Laramie? Where's Laramie? No, that's way. I always drive through Nebraska, then Wyoming and Laramie is like over here. That's got bad story too. So the Wikipedia is full of bad stories. If you're from Fall City, send us some good stories about your town because all we got is bad stories. Let's go take a look what they're all about. Look up Come From Away, the the Broadway play. Someone in uh, per, uh, Periscope, Andrew Pollock, said, look up Come From Away. That's the Broadway play about all the people that are on the flights that got stuck in Newfoundland during 9-11 because there was no, no planes. I seen that Broadway play, and let me tell you this. It's phenomenal. It's one of the most impressive things I've ever seen on a theater. Every actor plays three different parts, and they never really switch outfits, and you know exactly who they are all the time because their acting is so good, and the writing and the choreography is amazing. Come From Away, great play. Good shout-out, Andrew Pollock. Um, and the story's amazing, too, if you just want to watch the documentary on it. Everyone was stuck in this tiny town in Newfoundland because none of the planes that were going back and forth from Europe could enter America or leave. So they were, like, in the middle of the Atlantic in Newfoundland, and the town had to come together and feed these people, give them shelter, be nice to them. And they actually, like, built this, like, community and then people go back every now, every for anniversaries because they like ha had a good time and some people feel terrible for having such a good time stuck in Newfoundland when the rest of the country, you know. So, but it's a really good play if you want to go if you like plays. Looks like Jug Brown Stadium's pretty nice. Jug Brown. Who's Jug Brown? Is that a guy? Famous person in Nebraska? Jug Brown Stadium is a great stadium name. Um, I mean, I guess I'll just Google Jug Brown and see who that was. John J. Jug Brown, okay. He's in the Nebraska Hall of Fame. Bubak, you know him? Jug Brown. Okay, okay, looks like he's a legendary football coach. Look at that look, man. I'm a huge fan of Jug Brown's look. Got like the pea coat on, buttoned up and tied at the waist, and then he's got the little detective hat crooked on his head. One of the few who was both a fine athlete himself and also a fine coach. This gentleman played on the undefeated 1922 state championship team of Lincoln High School, being selected as an all-state quarterback. In addition, he was all-state in basketball and a member of the state track and field championship group of Lynx. After moving into the profession of coaching, he began the task of building Falls City High School into an important part of Class A athletics in Nebraska. Frankly, his teams put Falls City on the map. His Tigers won the 1939 state basketball championship in Class A. He had several unbeaten football teams at Falls City. The undefeated 1934 state championship in Class A football was a good example. Today, the stadium at Falls City is named for this great coach. Cool. Now we all know about Coach Jug Brown. His legacy leaves Nebraska on this date. Jug Brown. Jug! Hey, Jug! That's play calling. Jug. Why do you think he was called Jug? Always always just carried a jug with him all the time. 
It just sounded phonetically nice. Here's all the baseball fields. Those look nice. Looks like a nice complex. This might be the... I mean, we've done a lot of small towns this week. This might be, like, the biggest, most complete town. Looks pretty cool. Let's find a random house. Everyone send these people 20 bucks. Imagine that's what we did. All right, we're all sending you 20 bucks. I don't know if I should do addresses and stuff. Oh, you guys can't even see it. It's 423 blank, blank street. We're all sending them 20 bucks. We're going to make their day. Cool. All right. Zoom out. Jug Brown Stadium. That's kind of cool. I don't know if the Bluetooth's hooked up. It's not good when you want to do the transition sound, but it's not hooked up. And that's all I have to say about that. That's Falls City, Nebraska. A lot of bad news about it, but, I mean, Jug Brown, put him on the Wikipedia. He's the best coach of all time, named Jug Brown. 